What explanations might there be for the used car dealership near me that is never open and hasn't moved a vehicle on its lot in five years? If you are mildly interested, Google property search by address for your county, and then follow whatever procedures your county has to let you know who the owner is. Then figure out to look for related lawsuits probate. If you are more interested, head down to the country records and talk to the clerks about how to find this out. Alternatively, you are only one or two connections away from several real estate folks. They might inform you what to do locally. It is probably something boring. Def Bishop front. Maybe the business was to be split in an inheritance or divorce that is still dragging through the courts. Or it was seized by one of those agencies or IRS in a criminal conspiracy case that is still in the courts. The bills are being paid. Someone is paying the rent mortgage if there is any, and the property taxes are being paid. If they weren't then you would see here about legal seizures going on, and the lack of attention would be manifest through people stealing or vandalizing there. I have no idea, but I was so excited to see the correct spelling of peaked in this instance. It's always peaked. Have a similar place near me. Asked the exact same question and neighbor gave me the following answer. Business was bad because it's a shady looking place and the owner is a POS. They apparently stopped selling used cars a while back and now lease out lot space to the police impound and or towing company and or bank repo cases. The office looks like nobody has been in there in over a decade. The cars in the lot change, very slowly, almost unnoticeable but they are not the same 50 cars from when I moved into this neighborhood. Oh there were also two ski dues there for years that are no longer there. They keep the old used car signage facade because they are too cheap to remove it and because it may be safer than announcing to the world that is a place where you might find your impounded repossessed vehicle. That being said could also be super shady tax front or some other nefarious business purpose basically another mattress store. Owner died, no heirs or family lives elsewhere and does not care. Could be bank owned already and got lost in the shuffle. Who knows? I am sure a little Google search would help I. Your investigation. GL. Go buy a used car and report. Colon P. Money. Laundering. You might not want to pay that much attention to that particular car lot. Unless you want to propose they create a new high-paying job for you to better camouflage their bue signs. Not that you want to know what that bue signs is. It's a front for something criminal. CIA. Have you googled the business name and address? Lucid dealer out here took a while to get going. A poor attempt at money laundering. A used car business would usually be a good way to launder money but you have to actually keep the business looking legit or it will eventually draw attention to your activities. I worked at a place that barely sold enough food to cover rent, let alone stock, electricity, equipment, advertising, staff. To this day we don't know how that stayed open, but we joke about it being a front for something else. I mean we were being paid off book. Tax write-off, 